Oh, yeah. Ever so dangerous. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one. Oh, mano a mano. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be can't miss. Beautiful technique. Leapfrog. Hellacious power slam. They're struggling for control right now. She goes for the cover. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Not yet. Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can overcome any adversity thrown her way. And I think she proved that most in 2017 when she was sidelined for several weeks due to a shoulder injury, but eventually returned to capture the NXT Women's Championship later that same year. Oh, nasty impact. Matt slam with some attitude. Uh oh, crucifix. Look at this. If I could reinforce what about Ember Moon's NXT Women's Championship victory, what made it so impressive, in my opinion, is that she had to defeat not one, but three other women to capture the goal. That's right. It was at TakeOver World Games where Ember Moon turned back Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, and Kyrie Sane to become NXT Women's Champion. Oh my goodness, crushing it! We're looking at complete domination here. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Ring rattling. Oh man, she's rolling now. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Beautiful technique. Not so fast. American Rana. Good grief. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. What's this? Big time slam. Vicious. And that was only a one. Not yet. Watching Ember Moon the past few years, Corey, one thing I've learned is that her drive to succeed may be unmatched. I don't disagree, Cole, and it's that drive that makes her so hard to defeat and nearly impossible to game plan for. How do you prepare for a woman who refuses to lose?
and Ember Moon. Too quick. Two. Scoop slam. As Corey mentioned, preparing for Ember is not easy, especially given that she has no quit in her. But that said, Byron, perhaps replicating what Shayna Baszler did to Ember at TakeOver New Orleans would be a good approach. Or as it may sound, if Ember refuses to quit, you might have no other choice than to render her unconscious, much like Shayna did. Exhausting a lot of energy here with this cradle. Yeah, but more than likely it will pay off. She's flirting with a count out here, guys. Come on, hurry up, get back in there. Look at this. The shoulders are down. I think she's trying to prove a point here. You're not going to get her that easy. Going to take more than that. This match has been 100 miles per hour since the opening bell. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Ember Moon is getting ready. Oh, and it's a reversal. She better do something fast. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. And Ember Moon, too quick. She's looking completely, wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. This is going to be big, one way or another. Ember Moon is getting ready. Oh my God, what a dive. One, two, three. Yes, unreal performance. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. She's taking care of business. Man, oh man, look at that. Look at her go. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. It could have gone either way there for a while. If the other women knew what's good for them, they'll steer clear of this one. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.